Good morning guys and welcome back to another video. If you're new, my name is Amy and I have been on a weight loss journey for the last couple of years following the start solution and using the principles of calorie density and I want to show you what I'm eating today as a busy mom um, who is a massive volume eater. I need a lot of food to be satisfied and have found a way to eat a lot of food. Sometimes I literally can't believe that I found a way of eating where I can be a volume eater and also getting stay lean. So it's pretty incredible. And I want to show you what I'm eating today. You guys know I like to start my day with veggies, obviously. Um, yesterday, I chopped and sliced loads of aubergines and stuck it in the oven because I was going to make a moussaka, but I did not have the mental headspace for a moussaka. I don't know why. I'm not quite sure what happened. But basically, I had loads of courgettes and loads of aubergines that needed using up. So... For my morning veggies this morning, I've got all those aubergines and courgettes and a head of cauliflower. Um, and I've just sautéed it Amy style in some soy sauce and garlic. Um, so I'm not quite sure how it's going to be. I've never had this concoction before, but let's try it out. Yeah, I've woken up super, super hungry this morning. I did my workout last night um, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm starving. So yesterday I only had two meals, but my first meal was very substantial um, with the granola and the ice cream and stuff. Um, that was kind of... Yeah, it was no time density, but it was also, there was a lot going on in there. What do you want? Yeah, since I've started incorporating more proper workouts into my day, I am finding myself super hungry, so obviously I need to compensate by eating more food. So anyway, uh, let's dig in to some veggies right now, but today I am going to be making a shepherd's pie, and I'm super excited about it. I was inspired by Abe, because we were trying to think about what to have this week, and then um, James was talking about pies, and Abe said, what about a shepherd's pie? And I was like, you know what, Abe? That's a fantastic idea. Sometimes you've got to listen to your kids. Um, so anyway, I've got these lentils that I accidentally soaked. I didn't mean to soak them. I was going to cook them, but then Abe wanted something else. So anyway, so I've got these lentils. So I'm going to quickly whack these in the Instant Pot. Um, and then I'm going to try and get ahead of that. And I'm going to make the shepherd's pie this morning because we are going out to a forest school the day after school. So I'm not going to have time to make dinner. But anyway, I'm not quite sure we're going to have a breakfast. We might have some chocolate cake or something. We'll wait and see, but first, veggies. Oh, I'm so excited about these veggies. If you guys don't start your day with veggies, I highly recommend it. Um, it just gives you so much bulk in the morning um, and it just sets you up in such a good way, feeling full and satisfied. Obviously, pair it with starch, but the veggies are just like, oh my God, I've woken up really craving them this morning. I'm very, very, very excited about this. Oh yes, look, I don't, I don't skimp on my veggies. On your weight loss journey, at the beginning of my weight loss journey, I was like, yeah, you know what? Eat the 50-50 plate. So I was always making sure I had my 50-50 plate. But as time's gone on, I'm realizing how important and how much more you crave those veggies. If you're wanting to see any extra weight loss, what you have to do is reduce the calorie density of your meal. And basically the way you do that is by adding loads and loads and loads of veggies. So if you've hit a plateau or something, ask yourself, how many veggies are you actually getting into your day? Does it look like this? Are you eating a lot of veggies? Because, um, anyway, can I do? Mm. Oh, oh, the aubergine. Mm -mm. Mm. Oh, wow. That is delicious. Holy muffins. Oh. Anyway, I'm going to go and shed this with Roms. Yeah, I'm going to come back. I'm going to make breakfast part two. Okay, so I just want to hop on and say, this roasted aubergine in here and roasted courgette is incredible if you are looking for a way to switch up your veggies or just get something new in try roasting some aubergine and then just add it in with your veggies with the soy sauce and garlic and honestly that's so darn delicious mm. also just had to share as per usual romi is joining me she's never had aubergine before but she is really really enjoying it um and you know that's another benefit of eating a ton of veggies is you get your kids into eating loads of veggies <laughs> Oh, is that your aubergine? Show us how you eat your aubergine. Oh, Romy, clever girl, you little muffin. Is it really yum? Can, can you do nam nam nam? Show me how you do nam nam. Is that really nice? You little cute bean. Oh my God. I love it when babies eat veggies. It makes me happy. It may only be 9.30 in the morning, but we are going to make a shepherd's pie right now. Like I said, I just want to get it out of the way today. And Romy is still awake and is still in a good mood. And she wants to slice something because she's got a knife ready. So let's do it. So Romy say, let's do it. Oh. 
I'm feeling particularly lazy this morning, so we're actually just going to whack everything in the food process, and I think that's going to be a lot easier. Okay, so we're going to start with a couple of onions. Because I've got loads more stuff. Basically, I use every meal as an excuse to throw loads of veggies in. So I've got two courgettes. We've got a box of mushrooms and three carrots. And we're just going to whack that in with the onions and some garlic into our food process. Okay, Romy's helping me load up this food process. I've just very roughly chopped them. We've got some big slices going on here and that's all right. We're just going to mince them down really nice and fine. Um, then we're going to saute this baby. Right, let's get the rest of these mushrooms in here. I haven't made a shepherd's pie in so, so long. And it's an ingenious idea for me because I love a shepherd's pie. Obviously, it's really low calorie density. Basically, veggies, lentils, and potato. You can't get better than that, really. And it's so comforting and satisfying. It's just like, mwah. Right, let's blitz this up. Come on, Rams. Okay, there we go. Lazy version of chopping. That is literally the perfect texture. Obviously, we want it to be kind of mincy and the mushroom is going to act as like an extra meaty element. Also, we've got our lentils, obviously, but that mushroom is vital. Okay, we've just added in three things of frozen garlic and a little splash of soy sauce. And we're gonna cook this down for a little moment and then we're gonna add some other stuff. Okay, so while that is on, we are gonna get our potatoes ready. So obviously you guys know I've got loads of potatoes. Rami, will you like to come and be my assistant on the potatoes? Yeah. Right, come and help mommy out, sweet pea. How many potatoes should we have? Should we have lots of potatoes? Okay, can you give them to mummy and then mummy will wash them? One. Okay, in here I've just got a mixture of dried parsley, dried thyme, dried oregano and some smoked paprika. About basically a teaspoon of each one and we're just going to whack this in the mix. Okay, so I've just mixed in my lentils that were in the Instant Pot, probably about two cups worth and a tin of chopped tomatoes as well. There we go. I'm just going to let this cook down for a little while. So whilst everything is on and cooking, I'm going to quickly eat this orange and kiwi because it, uh, it needs eating. And I also fancy something fresh. I wish there was more oranges because I'm really in the mood for oranges, but I haven't got any more. Um, and I'm trying to figure out what to make myself for breakfast. I am really in the mood for some more banana ice cream, but it's a bit of a mess and a bit of a faff a little bit. And I don't know if I can be bothered. Um, I also fancy a bit of cake. Again, a little bit faffy, but I think let's go for some cake. I'm thinking chocolate cake. Chocolate cake with chickpeas is where my mind is at. So let's do it. Okay, we're going with one cup of oats. One nice ripe banana for some lovely sweetness. I'm going to do half a cup of soya milk. Splash of vanilla. Teaspoon of baking powder. And obviously you can go in with cocoa powder, but you know that I am ridiculously obsessed with carob. If you don't know about carob yet, it's basically just a great cocoa powder alternative, except it's got natural sweetness, no natural bitterness. So it means you really don't have to add any extra sweetener to it. I'm going to go three tablespoons because I love it. Um, it's lower in fat. It's caffeine free. It's just amazing. And I just, I'm obsessed basically. And then we need some chia. And tablespoon of chia seeds. Pretty simple. This is not complicated stuff. It's basically just porridge. Now let's blend. Should we see what we're working with, Rob? Oh, oh my gosh. Mmm. You want to have a taste? What do you think? Good. Wow. Honestly, that is so darn sweet. There we go. Let's do an extra, let's do a tiny extra splash of soy milk. Just teeny weeny. I feel like this bowl may be a bit big, but we're going to go for it anyway. Oh my God, look how good that looks, guys. You could just eat it like this. You can just have it as just a pure blended oats and not like a uh, cake or something. I just used some frozen cherries. I haven't got loads left, but we'll go in with a few. Add some extra fresh freshness and flavour. There we go. Oh yeah, I was going to put chickpeas in, but I totally forgot. Anyway, I'm going to whack this into the microwave for like six minutes and let's see. Okay, and breakfast is served. It is that simple and that easy to have cake. Anyway, I'm very excited about this. Um, I'm going to go and dig into this while Romy goes to sleep. I've also, as if that wasn't caraby enough, I've also made myself a lovely warm carob as well. Oh yeah, I totally forgot to show you the quality of this cake. 
This is some incredible, incredible cake and it is absolutely delicious. Ah, it's about half 12. Romy's been asleep for a nice, good chunk of time and she actually went on the couch. So I was able to do some stuff and get loads of work done, which was fantastic. Um, but now uh, we are going to be finishing off. Oh, oh, come here, come here. But now we're just going to be finishing off our shepherd's pie. Um, and also I did not finish all my cake because I just wasn't super hungry. I think I had about half of it. Let me show you guys. Um, yeah, I had about that much. And then I was like, oh man, I'm just done. I think it was the quantity of veggies I had this morning. I had a lot of veggies and then that was great. Um, so if in doubt, get more veggies in. I've just promised Romy that we'll go and do some bouncing on the trampoline. Would you like to do that? Should we put some music and do some bouncy bouncy? Oh, yeah. Okay. So this is the kind of consistency we've got. See how mincy it is. It's the lentils and the mushrooms and it tastes incredible. So I think I might should have done more filling. There's not like loads in here. So I might just make like a baby shepherd's pie and then just have loads of extra mash. Maybe for the babies. I don't know how the babies are going to take this. I think Romy will like it, but Abe, I am uncertain. But yesterday I did prep loads and loads of salad leafies in here and I've washed loads, uh, loads of them up. So I'm thinking I might just make like a nice light salad because I'm not super hungry. Um, so I might just do like a quinoa salad because I've got some quinoa left over from yesterday. Maybe like, I could do like a sweet kind of quinoa, quinoa apple with a, like a fresh kind of citrusy dressing, potentially. Anyway, I'm not super sure, but first let's go and do some bouncing. So I'm not hungry, but Romy is. So I'm gonna show you what I put together for Romy. Uh, just quick and simple stuff, really. So firstly, I picked up this mango the other day and she spotted it and she's like, meh. So she wants this mango. So let's dive into it. Hopefully it is a good one. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, Romy, it's really nice. <laughs> I finally have the plumber coming out today to come and fix that leak that happened the other day because uh, he was meant to come ages ago, but just didn't happen. Right, and then Romy can't chew properly. She hasn't got loads of teeth, so then I like to cut it into slices like this for her. So that is part one. Romy, you crack on with that while Mummy makes the rest, babes. I think we're going to need to have a little tiny taste of this mango. I'm not hungry, but I need to get involved. Oh, Oh my God, that is a good mango. That is a stunning mango. Wow. No. Yes, we can have some more. Oh my God. Mm. I never usually allow myself mango because I want my babies to enjoy it, but I'm gonna go for it. I mean, obviously it's great for weight loss. I mean, it's expensive, so we don't buy them very often and I like to prioritize my babies. Mm. I went hunting in the fridge and we don't really have much in there, but I was offering her some grapes. She totally rejected them and she just wants more mango. That's all right. Again, individual meal times don't have to be super, super complicated. You can keep individual meals simple as long as you have variety within the, within the days, within the weeks. Um, every meal can be very simple if you want it to be. And I feel like, especially for kids, sometimes we overwhelm them with a lot of different flavors and different things happening in a meal. Whereas my experience is kids just love keeping it simple and, um, and there should be no issue about that. Okay, so I'm just assembling my shepherd's pie. So I've got all of my filling here at the bottom and got my mash going on here. And I just added a bit of soy milk and some salt. Okay, here we go. Oh my God, guys, this is going to be amazing. Sorry, I haven't really filmed exactly how I've been making it. I've been doing an Instagram uh, recipe. So um, anyway, but I've hopefully tried to show you as much of the process as I possibly can. Into the oven we go. Romy also just finished an entire bowl of mash. She saw the mash from the shepherd's pie and she was like, I gotta have it. So anyway, she's eaten a ton. Okay, it's time for a massive salad. Let's do this. I am so glad that I pre-prepped all of my little leafies. So these are all washed and ready to rumble because that is one of the main reasons I don't eat salad very often because it takes a long time to do. Okay, I've just chopped up loads of cucumber and some tomatoes as well. Just whacking that on here. So for the dressing, I used to make a really lovely like sesame seed, lemon, garlicky dressing. That was basically my crack cocaine. Um, and I loved it. Obviously, I don't want to add 
ton and ton of sesame seeds in but i'm going to do something similar and i'm going to try and offset it by adding loads of chickpeas so it's going to kind of be like a hummus dressing so it's going to be chickpeas and sesame seeds uh not tahini just sesame seeds and loads of lemon and garlic and stuff and um hopefully that'll turn into a really nice fresh dressing but let's see okay so i've got like a cup of chickpeas I'm going to do like three tablespoons of sesame seeds. Now the magic happens with the lemon juice and I use a ton of lemon juice. Yes, I'd love to have real lemons, but I'm a lazy rascal. So I don't. That is probably about, I mean, I don't even know, maybe like a quarter cup. Probably quite a lot. A little splash of salt, two cloves of garlic and maybe a little bit of water. Okay, there we go. Probably like an eighth of a cup of water. Let's see what this turns into. Okay. Oh, oh, that is good. That is, oh, wow. That's so similar to what I used to make. Oh, my God. Okay. That's exactly what I wanted. I've never made this with chickpeas before. Oh, my God. That's what I used to have. Oh, yeah, just going to add a little bit of quinoa in there as well like a cup or so. And let's get that dressing over the top. Oh man, I think it's gonna be my new favorite dressing. Fantastic, there you go. I need to shove this in my face really fast so I can leave. Guys, this salad is actually blowing my mind. The dressing, I'm obsessed with this. I'm going to be eating this every single day. Mm. It is so, so creamy. I don't even think you need all the sesame seeds. You could do one tablespoon, but this is amazing. Mm -hmm. mm. The plumber keeps coming through the kitchen, listening to me talk to my phone. It's super embarrassing. I don't know if I ever get used to it. We're back from a lovely hour and a half at Forest School, uh, which was just so nice to get out. And uh, Romy and I both loved it. And I am so glad that I prepped dinner earlier because we literally come home and shepherd's pie is ready and done. So it's kind of been massacred on this side, but it is darn tasty. And I want to show you what I have put together. This is my little fresh platter. I'm using salad because I had some salad that needed using up. Um, and I need to figure out some kind of nice dressing. I might just go for like a balsamic something, but I'm not sure. Let me think about a nice dressing. But... What is amazing is these little babies are fully ready tucking in to the shepherd's pie. How is it, babies? Is it nice? Yeah. Okay, so I really want to have a nice little dressing for my salad. So I'm going to go for a balsamic vinegar style of dressing. So we're going to go in with a decent amount of vinegar. A splash of mustard. I'm just using Dijon Original. And a little bit of maple syrup. Okay, so I just blended it in the blender that was used for the other dressing. I thought, why not? So it's kind of gone a little bit creamy from the leftover dressing and I'm here for it. <coughs> this dressing is absolutely amazing. And I've just added some kiwi on there as well. Fantastic, low calorie intensity, delicious feast. I'm so excited. My babies love it. I'm going to go and dig in. Okay, so... Um, I am going to be doing my workout. Remember, I'm doing my 30-day fitness bouncing challenge kind of thing. Uh, so I'm going to hop on. I'm going to do it now. Um, I am quite excited to do a workout, actually, today. I'm quite in the mood for it. I feel like I haven't really done any movement or any, like, exercise or just any, like, walking. Or I've basically done nothing today. Just been sitting at home. So I'm actually really excited to put some music on and have some personal time and just get a sweat going. Um, so I'm going to go and do that um oh, dinner was just so so good i don't know if i filmed me actually eating it but it was darn good that shepherd's pie just oh, it hit all the spots and i'm excited because i've got some leftover for tomorrow's lunch which is amazing um anyway i'm gonna go and do a little bounce <laughs> Oh man. Oh. 
four more rounds. Whew. That was an absolutely brutal but incredible workout. Oh my God, five sets. My triceps were burning by the end. And I've obviously working out, even though it is easier to do when you have less weight on your body, it's never easy because you always just push yourself to your max. And I am absolutely knackered. <laughs> anyway, no, I'm, I was a great worker and I'm so glad that I have done my workout so far since I said I was going to, I think today's like three or four. And I'm like, come on, baby. I think it's because I've announced it and therefore that is keeping me somewhat accountable. Um, accountability is, I have found, is so, so key and so vital uh, when on your weight loss and your health journey. If you don't have anyone to be accountable with, um, so much easier just to fall back into old habits. Anyway, I'm super glad. I will try and film a little bit of my workout every single night, not just for you guys, but also for me to keep myself accountable. So anyway, thank you so much for being my accountability partners. I much appreciate it. <laughs> anyway, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.